morning guys welcome to another day of vlogmas december the second i hope you have, are having i hope you are having a good december so far welcome to the second day of vlogmas where i don't have time to vlog because i'm at the vet school from nine until five today and that would just be horrendously boring for you to watch because i would be sitting in lectures the whole time one of my friends on instagram she asked me what self-love means to me and i was meant to write an instagram post about it but i forgot and just never really got around to it and i thought i'd make a video about it because the concept of self-love i feel is very applicable to christmas time and it's a time to be around your loved ones and to give and receive and all that lovely stuff spending time with your loved ones and putting other people before you but it's also time to appreciate yourself and just love yourself and I don't know I just wanted to talk about self-love and I feel like it ties into Christmas because self-love equals happiness and happiness equals Christmas the definition of self-love is a regard for one's own well-being and happiness this is really broad and just telling someone you need to regard your own well-being and happiness they're gonna sit there and be like the fuck how do I do that and lots of people kind of blunder around and say yeah I love myself and how to show how to show yourself that you love yourself is diff gonna be different for each person it's gonna mean something different for every individual I hopped on Google and looked up the meanings of self-love and what people can do to show themselves self-love and to practice self-love. So the first one that I kind of thought was a good one was putting yourself above others. This is very important for Christmas time because you feel obliged to do something for other people, you feel obliged to spend time with your family. But doing this can be detrimental to yourself. Putting yourself above others can be anything like leaving a party when you're tired instead of staying just for the host's sake. Putting your needs and what you want as a priority in your life is a big part of self-love. I don't think you can really be happy unless you do have a regard for your needs and you do occasionally put yourself above others. This doesn't mean be horrendously selfish and spend your whole time being like, no, I want to do this, so I'm not going to bother with you. That's not what it means. Doing what you need to do to be happy whilst making sure other people are happy. Not that other people's happiness is your responsibility. Okay, the second one um, that I could relate to was expressing yourself. Um, this is so important. There's a thing called flow that you get into when you're doing something that allows you to express yourself and you're doing something that you're good at and you just get an adrenaline rush and endorphins and you feel like nothing in the world can stop you. Nothing else matters apart from the thing that you're doing right now. That's called flow. And I feel like this is such an important thing to experience in your everyday life because it just allows you to appreciate the things you're good at and realize that you are good at stuff and that all counts towards self-love expressing yourself can be any way from drawing to dancing to singing to playing a sport it's just something that you love doing okay the third one which is kind of over preached about i guess is accepting yourself and everyone preaches self-acceptance everyone preaches it everyone's like you need to accept yourself but honestly accepting yourself is the hardest thing you will ever do in your life i am still not there because you have to accept yourself not just physically but mentally and spiritually and you have to accept yourself as the person that you are not just the body that you're floating around in you have to appreciate and accept the person that you are inside and say this is who i am and I accept that and I love that and this is a very difficult thing and it's a daily thing you can accept yourself completely on one day and then the next day just be like I hate this it's something you have to work towards every day and accepting yourself in the morning will just make the rest of your day so much better um, I find it incredibly hard to wake up and be like yeah I accept myself but I'm getting there and you will too hopefully accepting yourself you can show that you accept yourself by some people like standing in front of the mirror and saying I love myself I accept myself um, this to me doesn't really work it's more of an internal thing and just taking a moment to like breathe in and like feel my whole body and just feel my whole being this sounds so hippy dippy I'm sorry <laughs> but it's what it is and just feel my presence 
on the earth and be like, yeah, I accept that I am here in this time, in this body, and there's nothing I can do to change that, so might as well accept it and enjoy it. Fourth one that I kind of liked was making time for yourself. People are so busy these days, they just rush around and run, run, run everywhere to do everything. I'm guilty of it. I'm always rushing around to lectures or to do work or to do this. And it's so easy to, one of my toggles is stuck. It's so easy in, it's so easy to lose sight of the fact that we have limited time on this planet and spend your whole time working towards whatever you want to do, whether you love your job or not. It's so easy to just kind of forget that time is limited and to run around doing stuff that you think needs doing and although this is important it's important to occupy yourself you do need to make time for yourself whether this is doing something that you enjoy that allows you to express yourself or whether this is just taking a bubble bath or sitting down and reading or going to the cinema by yourself or going for a nice walk in the countryside whatever it is making time for yourself and just being with yourself and with your th thoughts is such a beneficial thing it just helps you to to accept yourself and just to love yourself as a person instead of as this like tool to do things that you want to do yes. did that make sense I feel like no the fifth one that i stumbled across was complimenting yourself um we are way too harsh to ourselves i am way too harsh to myself people are always continuously putting themselves down whether it's physically saying oh i feel so fat today or oh, my legs are so fat or whether it's mentally like oh i'm so stupid or, i don't deserve to be here or i don't know why they'd want to be friends with me people are always putting themselves down and it's sad because you don't need to do that and that is not going to help you love yourself start by saying this is so cliche but start by saying what you love about yourself this doesn't have to be something like i love my eyes and be like i love that i have the ability to make snowflakes out of paper i don't i don't i don't know what your ability is but just appreciate something you can do and say yeah i love that i can do that well done me for doing that good me and just like give yourself a little pat on the back and appreciate that you can do it and say yeah it's cool that I can do that because not everyone can do that and even if it's something that most people can do there are some people who can't do it like rolling your tongue I can roll my tongue I love myself for being able to roll my tongue I enjoy it it's a nice thing to be able to do not everyone can roll their tongue sucks to be you and the last one that I came across was trust this is so important trusting yourself and trusting the decisions that you make deep down inside your gut trusting that gut instinct and following it I did not really trust that I would get into vet school I did not trust in my own abilities I did get into vet school but it was a horrible time for me I was very very sad and stressed so if I had trusted in my ability to get into vet school and been like, yeah, of course I'll get in. I need to work hard, but I'll get in. Then I would have probably had a much better time and saved myself a lot of stress. Instead, I was like, I do not trust that I will get in. I'll work hard, but it'll all be for nothing. See, that's such a sadder thing. And whether it's academics or physical, like performing sport, trust that if you practice enough, you'll be able to do it. Trust that if you put enough time into it, you'll be able to do it. Trust that if you're dedicated enough, you will be able to do it. And it's not just trusting yourself in achieving your goals. Trust yourself that what you think is right and what you believe is right. This doesn't mean don't be open to new ideas, be open to new ideas, but trusting in what you feel deep down inside your heart and your gut, that gut instinct. Yeah, those are just some of the ways that I came across about what self-love means, loving yourself, um, to be honest they all apply to me but for me what self-love means most to me is giving myself room to make mistakes and forgiving myself for making mistakes and not being perfect. Too many people including myself they'll make a mistake and they'll beat themselves up about it completely and it'll be the end of the world and it's really not and if you keep putting yourself down about the littlest things that you do, you're 
going to burn out and you're going to break because it's not fair on yourself to keep to, to keep saying, oh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? And forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. Forgiving just means saying, it's okay that I did that and I learned from it. I will not forget the mistake because I learned from it and I will move on. And also forgiving yourself and not expecting yourself to be perfect because no one's perfect. It's so cliche, but no one's perfect. Um, even if your someone is your opinion, your definition of perfect, in your opinion, that's your opinion. They probably don't think they're perfect. We are flawed beings. We are human beings. We are not ever going to be perfect. All you can do is strive to be the best you can and accept yourself as you are and grow. You can't grow until you accept yourself. That would be like trying to grow a plant on concrete. Also, not neglecting what I want in life. Sometimes I've just followed what people's expectations will be of me or done what I think other will make other people happy or proud and this is wrong, I have stopped doing this because it's not their life, it's my life, it's not their life, it's your life. Do what you want. You have a dream and you want to chase it, I can do it and I commend you for being brave enough for chasing your dream because I am chasing mine and it feels really great to be doing something that's working towards what you've always wanted so if you have a dream whatever it is go for it don't neglect what you want and one more important thing to remember is that no one else can give you your own self-love you're the only person that is going to love yourself unconditionally once you do you're not gonna find self-love by waiting for prince charming or princess charming or person charming it's just not gonna come because that's not what self-love is you need to find it for yourself no one else is gonna help you run it around inside your deep dark corners of your soul to find it so yeah don't rely on other people to find yourself love you gotta be responsible for that shit that's just what i think self-love is that's just my interpretation of self-love yeah that was video number two of vlogmas i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that it wasn't too much of a rambly mess thank you so much for watching um if you haven't seen yesterday's video that was vlogmas day number one it was an actual vlog i hope you are enjoying december only 23 days until christmas yay 24 sleeps yeah 24 sleeps <sighs> happy mass I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that lovely stuff. Bye bye.